first met. <laughs> was it the day I walked out the house? She walked out the house. And I was so nervous when I first <laughs> saw her because I thought she was so pretty. And I said, hi. <laughs> you want a piece of gum? <laughs> Yes, and I was too nervous to I say anything else. Yeah. 10th grade? 11th grade. 10th grade? 10th grade? 11th grade. 11th grade. I had my dumb ball jacket. Yeah, she had a dumb ball pom-pom jacket on. Pom-pom squirrel. Pep squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we first met. And I knew that I really liked her from that point on. You know I had been seeing him because he was like the new guy in the neighborhood and everybody was talking about, oh, did you see the new guy that moved in at 905? You see the new guy that moved in at 905? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I saw him. Um, raking leaves or doing something out front. I was walking home from Sunday school and he was raking leaves and I kind of looked at him. He kind of looked at me and let the dog chase me. I, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't let the No, no. No, actually, no, no, no. Well, I knew that I really loved Lena and that it was a possibility for us to, you know, really have a meaningful relationship. But she, on the other hand, was very stubborn and made me work very hard to get to her. <laughs> but six she, years is from Six years. Six years I worked, and then three and a half years later, after that, she's married me. So that's nine and a half years just to get a wife. So I've worked very hard. But it's one thing I want to say though, it's very sweet, is that Lena is all the women that I thought she would be, and more. I get married to be the happiest day of my life. <laughs> well, what happened was. I had took Lena to work that day because we had talk, started talking what day was that? in January. What day was that? That was March 29th. 1991. March 29th, 1991. I took Lena to work. We had an appointment that day to go to the Spear Center where we're now having our reception. And I took her to work and I, on my way back home, I had decided that this would be the day that I was going to propose to Lena. Now, in early in January, of uh, 91, we had decided to start seriously um, talking about spending the rest of our lives together and think about um, making plans to get married. And I had bought the ring that month, right in the middle of qualifiers, KC qualifiers. And um, I had the ring, and on March 29th, I knew that that would be the perfect time because Lena was planning a very special birthday for me downtown, and I knew she wouldn't be thinking anything about us. So and I had a horrible day that day. Had a horrible day that day. <laughs> And I came home and I talked to my parents and I let them know that I was going to propose to Lena that day. And, and I was very nervous, like I'm nervous now. And um, me and my father, we took my mother to work and we hung around and talked man stuff, you know, father to son before you get <laughs> married and everything. And I bought Lena a dozen long stem roses, put them in a box and a balloon that said, I love you. And um, we were sitting around, we were talking, me and my father were talking about it. And Lena called. Lena called and said that she didn't get this um, PMI, um, was that a fellowship? Fellowship. PMI fellowship, and she was depressed. And I told her, don't worry about it, that the day was going to turn out real nice. It's going to be a real nice day. I had no idea. So I went on a job, and she was in the meeting. I sat at her desk. She came in acting crazy, dancing oh, I and everything. Say, I was just happy to be off of work. <laughs> I was ready to go home. I was ready to go. And what I did was... Well, I'm in. Told her to sit down, and I had been and I, crying. I had, and I had no idea what was going on. I saw the I saw the balloons and I saw some flowers, but I was Big like, box. Charles was thoughtful. He's trying to cheer me up because I didn't get the PMI. He knew I really wanted that job, and I didn't get it. So I was like, Oh, he's cheering me up. Yeah. Next thing I know, she started getting down on his knees. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, What is the man with Shaking. Charles? Because he lost his mind. <laughs> And I had a whole speech about how much I loved it, <laughs> how much first first time I saw and offered a piece of gum that, you know, this was going to be the day that I wanted to spend the rest of our lives together. And I just sat down and said, Lena, I love you for such a long time. And I really want you to be my wife. And Lena looked at me in that face just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I 
pulled out the ring from my pocket and I put it on her finger. Darn it. <laughs> I put it on her finger and she just looked at me and smiled. And I was like, well, I'm on my knees. And she just said, <laughs> and that was it. And then people start coming in and they were like, oh, he just proposed. And Charles brought a camera and all my co-workers start taking pictures and hugging me and stuff. And I was just in a state of shock. I didn't know what was going on. I knew I liked what was going on.